Welcome to the Air Displacement Plot Thismography How-To Video using the BodPod. Inside our body composition room, there are many tools for assessment, one of which is the BodPod. Right next to the BodPod, there is a computer station with the COSMED body composition tracking system software pulled up. This program should always be open on the computer. On the left side of the screen, there are options including test, practice, and then further down, QC. The BodPod needs to be calibrated on the day of testing. When you scroll the mouse over QC, there are a checklist of things the BodPod will need to run through to fully calibrate. You may go in order, or you may leave both scale calibrations for after the others are completed. The computer will prompt you through the analyzing hardware, auto run, and volume measurements. Follow these descriptive prompts exactly. It gives an easy follow step by step. For example, the computer will say open BodPod door, then click next. After you open it and click next, it will say make sure BodPod is empty, close BodPod door, and click next. When it asks you to place the 50.093 liters known measurement into the BodPod, they are talking about the cylinder located next to the BodPod. After completing Analyze Hardware, Auto Run, and Volume Calibrations, you may calibrate the scale. First, you click Calibrate Scale under QC and follow instructions about placing 20 kg on and off of the scale. To do this, we use two 10 kg weights. After the calibration tarring is done, then you will check the scale. This requires you to move the weight an additional time. It is important that if you are calibrating the bod pod, that you mark each component off after the calibrations under QC pass, which you will know because the computer will say PASS in all caps. You will mark this off on a piece of paper that says Quality Control Log, which is laid out in a table with each of the calibration types listed. On the same sheet, it is important that you write the date you completed this and your initials. Next to this paper is another form, which is the bod pod usage chart. This is where you track if you are going to test someone in the bod pod. Similarly to the calibration sheet, you must put your initials, the date, but then also the amount of subjects you tested in the bod pod machine and the purpose or reason of testing. If you are going to complete an ADB test on a subject, scroll the mouse over the word test and then over to the words body composition. Click on this. Before your subject gets into the bod pod, it is crucial that they are aware of the pre-test instructions. Make sure your subject knows not to ex exercise within approximately two hours prior to their test, not to eat or drink right before testing, and offer the option to use the restroom. Clothing for ADP is important in order to achieve most accurate results. Clothing for men and women must be tight, for example spandex, and both must wear a swim cap. Loose clothing, hair, or jewelry will throw off the data. Once your subject is dressed, record their height and input their information into the program, such as sex, height, birth date, name, etc. The bod pod will instruct you to weigh them before the testing using the just freshly calibrated scale. After all prompts have been followed and the computer tells you to open the bod pod door, make sure it is empty and gives the okay for your subject to enter, you may begin the test. Make sure that the subject is aware that the test is quick, that the air shifting might cause slight popping sensation in the ears, but that they should try to be as still as possible, breathing normally, sitting in a normal upright position. This is a painless test and is easy on the subject. The system will run two tests, and if the data is close enough, the test will finish. However, if one of the two is off, it will ask you to complete the test for a third time. When your subject is done, you may change in the changing room, leaving their laundry in the basket located inside the room. Meanwhile, the test administrator can print out the results through the printer located on the computer station. The results may be classified based on the bod pod risk rating scale. Make sure that when interpreting results, standard error of the estimate, 
gas predictions, and other varying factors are taken into account. Remember, we are not just dealing with numbers, we are dealing with people, so how you deliver interpretation of results is crucial. If at any point you are confused on either the calibration, the testing process, or the results, there is a binder located above the computer with detailed instructions and descriptions.